In this video, I wanted to show how to compare the speeds on Azure File Shares using Azure Share Premium versus Azure Share Standard uh, speeds. So I'm going to do the test on the actual My Work Drive server. This is the My Work Drive server. I installed the Map Drive client on the My Work Drive server, and I'm pointing to the local host, which is this is 8357. Uh, HTTP is by default installed. In this way, when I log in and map a drive um, using the MyWorkDrive software, it's going to go directly through the MyWorkDrive server, still using HTTP, and then save uh, directly um, back using SMB from the server over to Azure File Shares. This way, we'll have a true test and won't get any network latency involved, obviously connecting remotely or from other locations will be subject to internet speed. So in this case, I've got this shares up and running. You can see we have a P drive, which is a premium. We also have a W, which is the same uh, folder structure, but that's on a standard uh, file share. So let me bring that up side by side. We've got a, about a 600 meg file here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that file over to the standard edition of Azure File Shares. And you can see it drops down pretty quickly into like 11, 12 megabytes um, in terms of speed, even less than that at various times. So, you know, even with transaction optimize Azure File Share. It's substantially slower, which is why we don't really recommend it, uh, except for very small files um, that or you know that don't need a lot of transactional or larger types of data IO inputs into them. So you can see it's quite variable. Um, So on the average, we probably got 12 megs. I'll do the same thing on Azure Premium File Share. You can see quite a big difference going from an average of 12 to 18 at the highest. In this case, we're hovering in the 30 to even 40 megs per second upload. 